We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down green street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horse chip buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Second down in a mile. Mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. Touchdown! Oh, seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And that's the worst feet. And he's on to the races. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at loose, but no cigar. First down and seven. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Well, if the ref didn't 
didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw interceptions, but when I do, it's with a bat, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Is that right, Quinn? That penalty makes no sense. And it's something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. You do it, yeah. Third down, and the defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast, dirty trick, and throws it. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it. You know what? Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. He's at the 30. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? First and ten. And they find and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Yeah. 
If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And they pick up nine with that catch. Oh, holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Third down and, well, good luck. Pass finds its target and pick up of six yards on the play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and seven. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third and four. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Third and four. underrated position in football the mighty punter and he put all of his foot into that one and he snags the punt and looks for open field oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over well the ref didn't see it at least the mortician did he's coming out in the field now First and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Bad guys like a freight train. Nice pick. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico. Rather to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> and good. 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy. At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. And the QB decides to throw the ball away. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. It looks like the defense handed out shrinking pills. Uh, that's it, and that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and forever. They weren't even on the same page on that play. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a look. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> First and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't. Whoa, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. First and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> and 
and they line up for the extra point. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. Well, a lot of guys talk about stepping in. You to stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. It just slows the game down. And it's two minutes left in the half. Well, I can't wait for the halftime show. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely. It and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. And that's another turnover for the defense. More like a mafia hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? A smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second and three. Hey, man, I was here on the schedule now. You know what happened? The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third down and five. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Oh, it's a player's favorite. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to hit. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's 
First and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And that'll bring up second and one. Go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB's going to have more pow. And how about a little dirt sandwich? The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to a strip tea show, where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Second down and ten. He refuses to go down. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast. How they take it to the air and pick up a fourth down conversion? I thought they were crazy to go for it. You know, they still might be bricks, but crazy works in the MFL sometimes. Other times, it just comes back with a shotgun. And it's first and ten. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he sent. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down in a very lot. Uh, if I was that QB, I missed. I'm a house camel on silver. I own a hell of a fellow. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle.
Three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. He picks up a two. Third down and five. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. First and four. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. He's not going down. Functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Grim, what a minute, He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And it's first and ten. Catch for a four yard gain. Second down and six. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect him not to. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That was bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. Third and four. 
pick the QB says. I don't know. Oh, and that's, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Five on that play. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. Second down and five. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And that'll bring up third down and inches. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. That is such bullshit. This game is fucking rigged. I tell you, the programmers. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit them. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And that'll be second down and four. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the best. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid rage. And he's off to the races. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the light, it wasn't a draw in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. <gasps> Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. This guy's a brick shithouse. 
Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And he just ripped into a six-yard game. And that'll be second down and four. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, you don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Defense goes work, and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven what and kick the kicker's job in half they just be called sinners then it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what <laughs> The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. Oh, man, that worm just ate the player alive. You got to steer clear of the pits. You know, my sister had a tape worm almost that big. Name was Frederick. I didn't know that they made great house pets. You just got to sleep with leather underpants. The little bug is like the burrow. And it's first and ten. was there but he still picked up a yard somehow oh, oh, oh. 
Second down and nine. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky finds his head. He'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Football. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have rain in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down in a mile. Oh. Oh. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Only two minutes left in the game. Third and four. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big and, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the... Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. And the worm's got in the bathroom, Grim. Or did he just grab talking a lot of crap right now. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Boom! Dead and down! He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles! In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know what's throw it. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that. Lost his coupon night at Taco Hell. See that? He has better footwork, though, than me. Yeah. On account of not clenching his kicks, though. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls play, and he zings it in there for a nice... 
nine yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Brent, can I kill him? Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. Does the QB know which team he's on? I'm Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. Oh, he just got crushed. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a... Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, he'd expect... He could go all the way! They're getting on him! Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw butt riding on this asshole. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He makes the pick and returns it for a touchdown! What a play! lose him, they'll have to forfeit. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The Sins come away with a sinful win. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacky, like watching a knife cut through butter. Not right? like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.